Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ether Bandit's Garage. Today, we're talking about this 1953 John Deere 50. I, uh, it is a running and driving tractor. I bought it a couple years ago. It, uh, it's sat for a while. I'm getting it out because the, uh, there's a, the TED, the Texas Early Day Tractor and Engine Association in Temple, Texas is having their tractor show. And so I want to get this ready to go because I'm going to take a relatively large assortment of tractors to the Temple Tractor Show. But this one's going to be kind of special because um, uh, it's not going to just be a bare tractor. It's going to have something to it. But it, it sat probably a couple years and I got it out the other day. I put some gas in it. And, uh, As you guys can tell, it's real hard starting. Um, uh, but I put some fresh gas in it, got it out. I uh, I have here in my collection a uh, a set of two row cultivators. These did actually come on the fact the tractor whenever I purchased it, but I took them off because I was young and stupid, and. Uh, I didn't realize how much I thought people, or how, didn't realize at the time how much I thought mounted implements were cool. It does, this tractor does have quite a, uh, interesting life to it. I purchased it, I don't know how many years ago, I'll, I'll look. Um, not running. I ended up buying it from a guy that bought it at an auction while I was at the auction. Like, he owned it for maybe two or three hours, which I, uh, that was kind of a good deal, kind of not. The uh, tractor had water in it and the engine and it froze. And so it cracked this housing right here, this upper coolant neck. And then it cracked a piece on the head. And so I took the uh, head off, had the head welded, had that welded, put it all back together again, and it runs good. No pressure in the cooling system. Like, nothing's wrong with that. Uh, but I just lost interest with it. I didn't really play with it. Because, like, it, I thought it needed a whole lot more than it did. Which, it's no spring chicken. This is probably one of the uh, highest houred 50s I've ever seen. Or one of the two cylinders. Because... It just has a couple things that make it kind of interesting. Uh, so I bought it at Gary Hudgens Auction uh, in Bell Falls, which just did not come from Bell Falls. It came from somewhere up north. Uh, a barn fell on it, and uh, well, the old man was cultivating with it. The story I got, he was cultivating with it, had some chest pain, went and parked it in the barn. And, uh, died of a heart attack. And so the tractor sat until I got it because the barn fell on it and they were trying to sell it. Like it bent the steering shaft, the steering wheel. That's a different steering wheel. The battery box and that front nose piece. But other than that, the tractor was untouched. It was loose. I, uh, I got it running, didn't even touch the carb on it. This is a very rare option 50 because it has a live PTO. Not many 50s had it. It was like, it was just like maybe a $30 extra option. But farmers like, I don't need that. 
This is... Uh, I... Most people didn't even know 50s came with an option of a live PTO. But I had to do a little bit of work to the brakes. Just like the kind of generic things to do. But I think it runs good enough now where I'm going to put those mounted implements back on it. It ought to be, it ought to be pretty cool. I am, uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to this, uh, the front mount cultivator on it. It, uh, this rod's broken right here, and then this is broken right here. Which, that's no big deal. I'll fix that. Be easy. And, uh, the worst comes to worst, I do have a spare front mount cultivator thing that I've collected over the years. But I want to use that one because that's what came on the tractor. Uh, I don't know. Kind of quirky like that some days. Um, in case anyone's wondering, this is the serial tag. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It is five zero zero two eight seven five. But yeah, I just thought I'd thought I'd share this with y'all. I uh, will be showing y'all, or I'll be remembering and showing y'all how to mount the cultivators on the tractor. Looking forward to it. But alrighty, well, y'all don't have too much fun. It's just a short little video. I want to show this tractor, but we'll get back to y'all next time with a uh, cultivator update. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.